Windows 10's main tool for assessing system performance is called the Performance Monitor. Now, the Performance Monitor works a little bit differently from the Resource Monitor and the Task Manager, because the Resource Monitor and the Task Manager are focused on showing you the individual's processes and what types of resources those processes are consuming. Things like the amount of memory that each process is using and the amount of CPU time that a process is using. The Performance Monitor is different because it focuses on whole system performance. So let's take a look at this tool. To get to the Performance Monitor, I'm going to right-click on the Start button. And I'll go to Run and I'll type Perfmon. And press Enter and so now the Performance Monitor opens. I'll go ahead and make this bigger. So right now we just see a bit of summary information about the system's performance. But to access the main performance monitor screen, we need to click on Performance Monitor in the console tree. I'll go ahead and do that now. So this is what the performance monitor looks like, and it's broken up into two sections. The top section is a graph that shows the current system performance, and this is shown in real time. And then the lower section shows which counters we're looking at. A counter is simply a mechanism that reflects one individual metric of the system's performance. Right now the counter that we're looking at is percentage processor time. You can see the counter name just above my mouse pointer. So the percentage processor time counter shows us what percentage of the time the CPU is being used. So right now the CPU is being used less than 10% of the time. So this machine has plenty of CPU resources, but if on the other hand, the percentage processor time counter showed that the CPU was consistently in use above 80% of the time. Then that might be an indication that this machine has inadequate CPU resources and might need an upgrade. Now the percentage processor time counter isn't the only counter that's available. There are plenty of others. And the way that we would look at those is by clicking on the plus icon and that's going to bring up the add counter screen. So from there we see a list of categories. So processor is a category. RAS Redirector is a category, and then we can expand those categories and see individual counters within them. So if, for example, I wanted to see the percentage of time that the CPU was idle, I could select the percentage idle time counter and I'll look at all instances as opposed to an individual CPU. I'll click Add and then click OK. So now my graph is going to reflect the percentage of idle time, and it's going to reflect the percentage of time that the CPU is in use. And if I wanted to make this chart a little bit less confusing, I could even remove the percentage processor time counter. And the way that I would do that is by selecting it and then clicking on the X. And so now I'm only looking at the percentage of time that the system is idle. Now for every performance monitor counter, there is a certain threshold of values that you're looking for. Values within a certain threshold indicate normal conditions, and values that exceed that threshold indicate that there's some sort of issue going on. So a lot of times when you're troubleshooting a problem with Windows 10 and you go out to the internet and you find a Microsoft article talking about that problem, they'll tell you to load the performance monitor and to look at a specific counter and see if its value falls outside of a certain range. And if the value does fall outside of that range, then Microsoft will tell you what might be going on. And what you need to do to solve that problem, oh, that's how the performance monitor works in Windows 10.